Welcome to SAT 021. The topic of this lesson is slope and the slope intercept form. An xy coordinate plane is formed by two number lines, the x axis and the y axis, intersect at right angle at the origin. Each point in the xy plane can be expressed by an order pair whose first number being the x coordinate and the second number being the y coordinate. The horizontal x axis and the vertical y axis divide the xy plane into four regions called quadrant. Starting at the top right corner, that's quadrant 1, and then move counterclockwise, uh, we have uh, quadrant 2, quadrant 3, and then quadrant 4. Points on the x axis have the y coordinate 0, and points on the y -ax axis have the x coordinate 0 and uh, the coordinates of the origin is 0, 0. The slope of a line is the ratio of the vertical rise to the horizontal run between any two points on the line. So the slope m equals rise over run equals the change in y over the change in x. And if we write as a formula, it's y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So in the coordinate plane, uh, we have a line, and then we have two points, x1, y1, x2, y2. So x2 minus x1 is the horizontal run, and the y2 minus y1, that's the uh, vertical rise, and the slope is vertical rise over horizontal run. So when we have a line from left to right uh, rises, the slope is positive. If a line from left to right falls, then the slope is negative. Horizontal lines, the slope is zero. And then vertical lines, the slope is undefined. The linear equation y equals mx plus b is called the slope intercept form. m, which is the coefficient of x, is the slope, and the b is the y-intercept. Remember the example we had in previous videos, 2x minus 3y equals negative uh, 12. After solving for y, meaning uh, isolating y on the left side of the equation, and we get y equals uh, 2 thirds x plus 4, where the slope is 2 thirds and the y-intercept is 4. Now, to graph from the slope-intercept form, first we plot the y-intercept on the y-axis. 0, 4, and then we follow the slope, the definition of slope, rise over run. So the rise is 2, so we move from 0, 4, 2 positions up, and then run 3, meaning from 0, 6, move 3 uh, positions to the right. And then finally we get to 3, 6, and we connect these two points, and that's the line we want to graph. Now let's look at a practice question. Line L in the xy plane contains the point 211 and the 0, 03. Which of the following is an equation of line L? Okay, so now when we look at these two points, we realize one of them is the y intercept. Why is that? Because the x coordinate of that point 0, 03 is 0, right? So that it must be a point on the y axis. So let's give us uh, b equals to 3 in the slope intercept form right away. And then we use the formula of the slope, rise over run, uh, slope equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Uh, we can choose either point as point 1 or point 2, um, but just uh, remember to plug in uh, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 correctly. And then we solve and we find the slope is 4. So right in the slope-intercept form, it should be y equals 4x plus 3c. Now let's look at uh, another practice question. The equation y equals 29.99 plus 1.09x simulates the entire price in dollars that you haul would charge a Jervis to hire a van for a day and drive it x miles. A flat price 
and a fee per mile traveled make up the overall uh, cost. What does the x what what does the y intercept of the graph when the equation is plotted in the x y plane reflect in terms of the model? And we have a b c d four choices. The question is asking the y intercept on the graph. So a sketch will be very helpful here. We only need a quadrant one because x is the miles driven and the uh, um, driving negative miles doesn't make much sense here. Why is the money drivers need to pay for renting the van? The graph looks like this. You can see as more miles driven, meaning as x increases, y increases linearly, which means the over cost, go overall cost goes up linearly as well. The y-intercept is the point on the y-axis where x equals zero, which means even zero mile is driven by drivers, the cost is still $29.99. So that means the y-intercept represent a flat fee of $29.99. C. That's all for this lesson. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.